I think it was in uh, 2013 uh, 14. I was sitting with my friends. Uh, by the way, it's very chilly here, it's very cold. I was sitting with my friends. Uh, we were three of us, and uh, we noticed that a, a police car it uh, pulled in. The other guy, the friend I had uh, with me, he said that this car, this uh, police car, it was fo it was following us. I told him, no, it is not. It, it's it's just there, and it will just you know go away. Don't worry about it too much. Um, but he he said to me, no, 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 you don't know this guy. He these cops they're following us. I'm like, no, man, come on, chill. It's it's nothing. He did make me get a little bit worried because um, I did see the the car of the of the cop, but eventually nothing happened, and I said, no, don't worry about it. He was thinking that because we um, we are Muslims uh, and we were you know close to the masjid, maybe somebody was following us, and I told him no, nobody was following us, so just chill. You don't have to worry about it. The reason I'm mentioning this story to you is because we are living in a time when things can be very scary, especially for Muslims, especially young Muslims going for, uh, to the masjid or you know going here, going there. Uh, you might be followed. Who knows? Uh, you might be followed, um, and it happens. Rasulullah he mentioned in uh, Sahih Hadith report in Bukhari. He said that I believe it's, it was narrated by Abu, uh, sorry, uh, Hudayb in uh, Yemen. He, he mentioned that that uh, Sahabi he mentioned it. Rasulullah saw some. He said, "Ma bu'isa nabiyun illa anzara ummatahul awaral kazab." He said that no prophet was sent except that he would warn his ummah, his people, about the liar, the one-eyed liar. And this is again reported in Bukhari. A lot of the time, we are seeing that majority of the world money, wealth, is being controlled by a small, tiny portion of the people of the earth. I think that would be like 2% that controls 80% of the wealth. After the COVID, I think that would go even higher now. Um, Maybe one person controls 90% of the wealth of the world. Allah alam. This is partly because of the system, the Dajjalic system, dear brothers and sisters, we are living in right now. We also see, dear brothers and sisters, that not only wealth, but also technology. Uh, neuron technology, if you are aware of it, uh, Elon Musk he is promoting this technology where you will be able to use artificial intelligence and you will be able to use uh, the computer through your brain Neuralink I think not only technology but also media um, the world reaches people they and the world kind of like the evil people <laughs> put it that way they control mainstream media these people who own this media they are linked to many groups that are forbidden that are not legal even sometimes uh, but nevertheless we have these groups controlling this media so media uh, wealth technology all of these things are being controlled by uh, this the jalic system and we ask this question dear brothers and sisters are we trapped into this the jalic system okay Oh, the wind is howling now. Wow, look at this. It's even moving my camera. It's right now. Um, so, the, the question is, are we being trapped? Can we not do anything? Now, on top of that, to make things work worse, a lot of young Muslim, even uh, adults, grown-up Muslim, they will tell you, my Iman is weak. If we are living in the system, the Jalik system, I'm sorry, I cannot help. My Iman is not good enough. People are not even able to pray five times. Forget about fighting this the Jalik system. 
and being able to free himself. They cannot, they don't even pray five times. They cannot do it. You also have people not only witness in Iman, they will tell you that the uh, Illuminati, they are watching over us. What can we do? Everything we want to do, everything, every time we want to accomplish something, every, every time we want to help out, we are being followed. As I said in the beginning of my of, the, of this video, that my friend he was suspecting that the cop he was following us. And not only that suspicion is there, but also you have Muslims who are saying that it is already too late. The Jal is already here, his system is already here, therefore we can do nothing about it. And they will say, yes, we are trapped, and so let's just forget about doing anything about it. We are just trapped, we cannot do anything. And you also have people who will say, the Jal is too powerful, and he, they are true, they are right, because even the Mahdi, he will not fight he will not face the Jal, and the reason for that is because Isa ibn Maryam, he would have to come down, and Allah would have to send him to fight the Jal. He's he's very powerful. So yes, these people are right that the Jal is too powerful, and we can do nothing about it. So what is it that is happening here? What is happening here is that, dear brothers and sisters, yes, we are trapped in this Dajjalic system and we cannot get out of it. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna be mentioning you something very important. Rasulullah uh, Sallallahu Alaihi he said, you have to be smart, okay? Number one, because system, the Dajjalic system is very, very smart. The technology, that's why they call it smart technology. Smartphone, smart TV, everything is very, very smart. This hadith, is very short I'm gonna be telling you this hadith yet this hadith is very very powerful Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said La yulda ghul mu'minin min juhuri marratain <laughs> do you know what does it mean it means La yulda ghul mu'minun a believer should not be stung from the same hole twice very short hadith but it means a lot if we are living and we are not if we are living in the in the time of the jalic system we should be smart and not allow people not allow all this smart system to make fool of us every single time Whenever there is a new technology, whenever there is something new coming, we should not be fooled and volunteer. Sometimes people even volunteer to get involved and, and become part of these new inventions and get very excited. We are so naive. Even with my phone, I'm talking to you right now, guys. They can even track me through my phone. The point here is, yes, sometimes we cannot outdo those people or maybe outsmart but we need to be aware of what is happening um, every time you use something that is not being invented by Muslims you have to be careful what they are injecting what they are feeding you you know all those things so Rasulullah if you remember the hadith you will be able to save yourself you know you know this from this trap that I just mentioned to you Inshallah. Number two is we have to be very very patient. So the solution for us to get out of this trap of the Jal is really in our patience. When Talut went out to fight Zalut, there were only few people, 313, 15 people, 17 people. They said to Allah Azawajal, Afrig alayna sabara, shower us with sabr. They did not say give us. Allahumma, uh, Allahumma ja'alna sabr mila sabirin They did not say oh, Allah make us of those who are patient They said Afrig alayna sabra They said uh, shower us with sabr Not just give it to us but shower it to us 
we have no choice dear brothers and sisters but to be patient and at the same time do our homework become very aware of the situation and inshallah allah will uh, protect us from this dajjalic system that we talk about now the other thing that i also want to make mention of how you can actually save yourself from this dajjalic system uh, is really by strengthening uh, strengthening your iman allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَالَّذِينَ نَحْتَدُوا نَحْتَدَ زَادَهُمْ هُدَى وَآتَهُمْ تَقْوَاهُمْ Those who seek guidance, I give them guidance and increase them in their guidance and give them taqwa. وَآتَهُمْ تَقْوَاهُمْ We have to get over this notion, our iman is weak. We have to get over this, you know, um, uh, belief that we are too weak. We have to increase in our iman by seeking it. Allah said, I will give it to you. It's a promise from Allah. If we follow these few things, few steps, the Jalik system or whatever system it is, dear brothers and sisters, nothing will harm us. If you're new here, consider subscribing, like this video, if you did, share this video. I'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.